Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is once again Snuggle Base and Rymark. I'm once again Shadow Fury 3 I think I forgot to mention that last game. And we are on Deadlands, which is a kind of iffy map. There's actually another map, I think it's called Live Lands, which is basically this, but remade to look nicer, well, at least greener, and without the center mexes. So this map is, and also more vehicle pathable, and more mexes on the side. I hope to see that map played more, actually. Anyhow, Deadlands is what we're dealing with now before it got resurrected, and as you can see, fairly focused around the center. Bunch of basically plus two mechs in the center, a few on the side, and the center itself, it's fairly weak. I think in other mods it's a bit stronger, but here it's, or other games, I mean, it's fairly stronger, but here it's, yeah, plus two point one overall with three mechs. Not really worth it, more of a thing you want to do for defense, because as you can see, it is a, it is a easily defended area. It's quite high up. It's kind of easy to get into, so that's something that you usually see players go for. But then they usually will also go primarily economy-wise for the other metal extractors. Anyway, without further to say, both players are just going to be going straight to the center and then attacking each other. That's it. Snuggleway is going for Amphib early on. Interesting choice. Rymark going for Jump Pot Factory. Not so surprising. Though in this map, that pair of factories? I don't really ever see it on this map. That's bizarre. I don't disagree, it's just, I don't usually, usually it's Shieldbot or Cloaky. Usually Shieldbot, actually. Oftentimes, this is what I see in this map, is people go for Shieldbot, and then they set up you know, either Rogues or Thugs, usually Thug Outlaw along here, and then just use that to push, like a Thug Law Ball, and just push with that. Sometimes you see Cloaky Bot Factory players go around the sides, but that's not what's happening in this particular case. So with Rymark going for Jump Bot Factory, and Snuggle Base going for Amphib Factory, Looks like they're going to go past each other, too. Are they... Are they... Stupid engine doesn't go to the line of sight view the first time I hit L. Yeah, they're going to go past each other. Snuggle Base and Rymark do not see each other, though Snuggle Base not going aggressive. They aren't attacking with this. They are just going in with a few scouts up front to see if anything's coming in, and they missed it. They know now what's going on. I don't think Snuggle Base... Rymark does not know what's going on yet. Nope, they don't know. Oh, they do know the factory. They see, they saw the conch. They know the factory. So both players are aware of the other's factory choice. This pirate should be able to take out a metal extractor or two. Oh, wow, that commander's already half health. Sheesh. Pyro won't kill it, but that's pretty threatening. Actually, I say that. Now it's down to almost a quarter of its health. No, a little under a quarter of its health. Boy saves the day, though. Takes out the pyro right at the last second. Well, not the last second, but... Before it could take out the, the commander even more. My goodness, that commander is heavily damaged. Down to a sixth of its health, ultimately. From one pyro. That is deadly at this stage of the game. Uncle Base able to get a bit of reclaim off that, but Rymark surprisingly didn't expand too much off that. They actually don't have any Freakers at this point. They have their commander, and that's about it. No Freakers or anything. Another Pyro moving in, but it looks like there's two Lotuses here, and the Commander's in the back. Snuggle Base is well prepared for this, does not want to push the Commander up front until it gets repaired. Like, until it fixes itself up. There is no easy way those Pyros are going to get in to actually deal the damage they need to. But at the same time, it looks like those Pyros are still probably going to be able to get to one of the Lotuses. The boy being a problem, though the Pyro can jump in. Risky, but it will work. Doesn't do it in time, though, does not do it on a reaction. And that means Rymark is, well, they got a slow pyro. And a duck goes down, which I should point out, by the way, ducks are about a third of the cost of pyros. So it's not that big of a deal that one duck can't beat a pyro. Three ducks, however, should probably be able to beat a pyro. And I'm fairly certain, if we look at 620 compared to, they deal one, two, three each. Yeah, that'll work. Ducks will three shot a pyro. So that seems relatively balanced for cost. The three pyros around here going around the side, and they will avoid the boys. They will be able to get around and deal with the lotuses. That's the first thing to deal with. Get rid of the lotus, then get rid of the commander. That's what you have to do. The boys, on the other hand, are going to have to deal with the lotus. They do not know about that lotus. They will soon know about the lotus, but they don't know about it right now. Once they do, however, it will be a bit of a bigger deal. The Pyro's moving around, they should have, oh, not quite a clear path. In fact, Rymark being a little indecisive what they want to do, pulling the Pyro's back to deal with those boys, because they basically have to. There's no easy way to get through those boys other than flanking them. 
Are they going to manage to do that? Hard to say. The boys can deal with the pyros fairly effectively. The pyros, if they jump in, and they jumped in, the boys don't have much of a chance. But I should point out, the boys being skirmishers and the pyros being kind of riots, the pyros are at a bit of a, bit of a disadvantage. But overall, the boys still lose. So at this point, Rymark, the boys lost, but Rymark didn't get the commander. That's the thing. The commander is fully healed up. It's, it's upgrading. It is not going to be in a position of too much anxiety for the moment. Yeah, it looks like it, oh, it hasn't upgraded yet. What was it upgrading? 76. Okay, that's not bad. So at this point, Rymark switching over to moderators, not a bad idea. Getting the moderators to get rid of the boys, and then from there... The Pyros to get rid of possibly the Commander. I mean, the Commander has moved forward. It is, however, upgraded. It does have a heavy machine gun, so those Pyros are not going to have much of a chance. Although, at the same time, those Pyros are still dealing with a very low health unit. And for a Commander, I should say. Recon Commanders, 20, 2250 health. That's actually, not bad. That's not a terrible amount of health, but still, Pyros are scary. And Moderator is coming in, which doesn't even work to dodge anything. Ouch! Man, Rymark, that, that must hurt. More moderators coming in. At this point, I think the puppies would be the best option. Against those boys, the puppies would allow them, like, a few puppies, yeah, one of them, one or two would die, but the rest of them would get in and just smash the boys to pieces. But no, Rymark decides they can't win and throws in the towel. So that's three games to Snuggle Base. Bit anticlimactic there. But it's also been about an hour, so that is going to be it for me tonight. Sorry about the slightly anticlimactic ending. But hey, we got to see what turned out to be a first to three between Snuggle Base and Rymark. Interesting set of games, particularly the hide and seek game. But yeah, the Sands of War game, I suppose, is a good demonstration of how Hover and Amphib now interact with each other. The last game on Deadlands, I'm not really sure if there's any conclusions to be drawn other than. Puppies are very useful. I'm surprised Rymark didn't use them. I'm sure Rymark had a reason, because Rymark is the jump bot specialist. On top of the sea balance thing. But I think that they might have not been so used to how to deal with amphibs with jump bots. So anyway, sorry about the rather lackluster ending, but I hope you enjoyed that anyway. Other than that, thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everyone.